Hey, good morning, friends. Happy Friday. You've made it through another week. This is two weeks of quarantine now, three weeks of quarantine now. I don't know. I, I don't necessarily think it matters, and we cer certainly should not be trying trying to count the days right now, because that's just going to make it seem like it takes longer. The important thing is, is that we're here at the end of uh, another week. We continue to be together. We continue to move for forward. Seems like each day more flowers start to come up. It seems like each day the grass gets a little bit greener. The sun still comes up. It gets a little warmer. Spring is still coming. Spring is still hap happening. We have the, prom the promise of summer being on its way. So even in the midst of all of this different, the midst of all this chaos, the midst of all this new, there are still normal patterns of life that are happening. Babies are still being born. People are, yes, still dying, but all of these normal life events against this backdrop of abnormal, it's still there. It's still hap hap happening. So I encourage you like we did last week and hopefully we've been doing something throughout this week keep keep looking for those little signs of normal keep looking for those little small victories in our day-to-day -day life and let's not forget let's not forget just how much good stuff and how much normal stuff is still going on right now there's a lot of hope that lies with with within that um gonna, gonna read a bit for us this morning from psalm third 31 it says David, he's praying for some deliverance from his in enemies, but then we'll see where he moves to praise too. So just hear, hear these words from the psalmist in Psalm 30, 31. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away from grief, my soul and body also. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my misery and my bones waste away. I think that might capture how a lot of us are feeling <laughs> right, right now. If we are honest with ourselves, this feeling of distress, our eyes are wasted away from grief. We're mourning, we're grieving almost daily. Our soul and our body seems that your life is spent with sorrow. Our years with sighing, our strength fails. This is, this is bleak, this is desperate, but this is the honest cry from David's heart about just how he's feeling. And he's able to acknowledge that and he's able to voice that and give that up to God. And I think there's encouragement from his words for us that during this time, these things that make us feel like we're wasting away, we should give them up. We should offer them up. Be true. Be honest. Give it voice and let God have it. Because what happens in just a few more lines of scripture just a few verses later the same man who was wasting away says this but i trust in you O lord i say you are my god my times are in your hand deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors let your face shine upon your servant save me in your steadfast love In the midst of wasting away, it doesn't take him long to make the transition to remembering, to remembering just, just how much God loves him, to remember who he is as a result of his relationship with God. He knows that he will be de delivered. God's face will shine upon him again, and he will be saved. It's a short transition in terms of the scripture but that journey can sometimes take a lot longer 
to move from the point of mourning and grieving to letting all of that go to then move to a place of trusting in salvation, of remembering how beloved that we are. In scripture, that's just the few lines here in the psalm, but that journey can take a lot longer. It, it may take days, it may take weeks, it may take months, and it varies a lot for each and every one of us, and that is okay. That is completely okay. What I hope to encourage us this morning by sharing this is that we realize that no matter what stage we're at on that journey, we are all on it. And the most important part of it is that we keep going. We don't let ourselves get stuck in denial. We don't let ourselves get stuck in grief. We don't let ourselves get stuck in lament, but we keep moving. We keep progressing. Just like in the midst of everything going on, spring is still coming. The world continues to move forward on its path. We continue to move along on our journey with the hope and the promise that salvation is coming, that God's love is still there, and he does remember us. He will remember us, and we will be lifted up out of this. May, may we be a people of such hope today. May we be able to share that with others around us. May we do the best job we can of keeping ourselves physically distanced from each other, but not in isolation from each other. There are plenty of ways that we can still love and serve from home or doing it in safe and effective manners. And I just want to make sure that we don't, be, we don't get so stuck in the mourning and the grieving that we don't forget to move on to the place of praise. Thanks for taking the time to ch check this out today. Th th thank you so much for the comments and the likes and the shares of all of these videos day in and day out. I think as much as as much as some of you guys like seeing this stuff from your pastors, for Angie and myself to have this opportunity to put some things out there on a daily basis, we need it just as much as you guys do. So thanks for listening. Thanks for, for sharing. Um, friends, don't doubt for a second just how loved that you are. Continue to have hope. Continue on your journey, whatever it may be. And we so look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day, friends. We'll continue to stay in touch.